A year ago today, the world lost a sports legend. Basketball great Kobe Bryant was killed along with his daughter Gianna and seven others in a helicopter crash in California. CBS's Chris Martinez takes a look back at the shocking loss and the legacy Bryant left behind. On an overcast California morning one year ago, an unexpected tragedy. Basketball superstar Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gianna killed in a helicopter crash along with seven others. College baseball coach John Altabelli, his wife Carrie and daughter Alyssa were among the lives lost. It was the most surreal day. It was one of the worst days obviously ever. Um, but in a, in a weird way, just the love and the support I got that day from so many people. I'll remember that part of the day, too, and it was equally special as it was tragic. Within hours of the crash, the area outside L.A. Staples Center began transforming into a massive memorial, countless mourners gathering from across the country. One year later, Bryant's Lakers family is still grappling with the void left behind. It's a lot of things that die um, in this world, but legends never die. And... Uh, and he's exactly that. In the days after Kobe's death, tributes in the form of murals like this one began appearing across Los Angeles. More than 240 Kobe murals have since been painted across the city. But beyond the tributes and memorials, questions remain about the crash and its cause. There was thick fog at the crash site. The NTSB immediately started its investigation. The FAA currently does not require helicopters like the one Bryant was aboard to have a terrain awareness and warning system, or TAWS. It's a device that helps prevent pilots from crashing. Bryant's chopper also was not required to have a black box. The more safety equipment that we can have on helicopters and aircraft, um, the more information that we can give to pilots. Um, in my opinion, it can, it can only positively impact safety. But since this was such a high profile crash, many are hopeful the equipment will become mandatory. It shouldn't take uh, a high profile accident uh, for changes to be made. Lives are valuable. The final NTSB report on the crash is due February 9th. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Los Angeles. Helicopter air ambulances are required to have both TAWS and a black box. After a deadly 2004 crash, the NTSB urged that all helicopters have TAWS, but the FAA chose not to implement that recommendation.